Since the dawn of time, mankind hath sought to make things smaller. But until now, no, no! Ah! The mechanical keyboard community loves small keyboards. If you take a look through r slash mechanical keyboards, you will almost never see a TKL anymore, let alone a full-size board. And this has led to a lot of things. First of all is the rise of 40%. This is a 40% that I built recently on stream and I've been dailing it for a while and absolutely love it. But that was not a good enough way to show my elitism. I needed to go a step further. Enter the binary keyboard. Believe it or not, by just using V2 keys on this board, you can type absolutely anything that you can on a regular keyboard, and that includes doing things like pressing modifiers, or using the arrow keys, or really anything else you can imagine. The only catch is, is it will take you seven key presses for every one key press that you want to send. This is all accomplished by just using some really basic custom firmware, so I'm going to take you through the build process of this board right now, so that we can go ahead and see how it was made. Before jumping into this full build, I wanted to start with a functional prototype so that I would know that what I was doing was actually worth my while. So what you see me doing here is constructing a little prototype holder for the switches out of some kale hot swap sockets and some jumper cables, uh, which I found is just a really nice way to take mechanical keyboard switches and make them compatible with Arduinos without having to solder them down to anything directly. So with that super basic hardware done, we were pretty much ready to go and at least start on the software. If you guys want me to do a deep dive on the firmware and explain a little bit more of what all the code is doing in there, let me know down in the comments. And also in the description, you will have a GitHub link with absolutely everything that I used for this project if you are interested in digging into it by yourself. So you can see here that what happens when you go ahead and type using the keys as they're connected to the Arduino is they will then send an ASCII key after seven key presses uh, to represent what you actually sent. My next steps here, we're adding a little display to give you a readout of what you were doing as you were doing it, which was just a super useful thing during the debugging step, but I didn't end up keeping them on the board in the final product because uh, I thought it looked a little bit messier and it made things like making an enclosure for it an actual necessity, and I'm not really great at actual fabrication. You can see here it gives you a readout. So now this keyboard can do everything we need for typing. It can type every letter, number, symbol, or anything like that, but that's not everything that makes a keyboard a keyboard. If you take a look at the keyboard in front of you, it probably has things like modifier keys, like control and alt and all of those, and it has function keys, arrow keys, and all the stuff like that. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of extra work to get this to a point where it can fully mimic all of the functionality of a keyboard. So I've been thinking about how I'm going to include those modifier keys, and I realize there are a bunch of key codes that aren't used because they're where the ASCII codes for unprintable characters that we don't use on keyboards go. Uh, so by overwriting those, I'll be able to fit everything. So I'll put all of our modifiers on the left and right side of the keyboard in zero through seven, and then the rest of the empty space I'm gonna use for arrow keys, function keys, and then some other special keys like escape, caps lock, and delete. Once all that planning was done, I simply coded it into our firmware, and then it was time for final hardware assembly. For our final hardware, I ended up going with Duroc T1 tactile switches for our switches, the Milk 2% PCB from Keyhive for an actual PCB to just keep everything together nicely, and a Pro Micro clone as our logic board. And then on top of the, all that, I put on some KBD fans uh, NP crayon keycaps, uh, simply because I had a 1U0 and 1 for that, and we were ready to go. Just like that, the binary keyboard is complete, and now we're going to jump into the actual testing. First, I'm just going to demonstrate some of the functionality for you, show you that all those different keys work, and you can't just type letters, but you can also do things with modifiers and everything like that. And then from there, we're going to move into a speed typing test on monkey type to see this board at its full capacity. Here we are on KeyboardTester.com now. I'm just going to show you some of the functionality of this board. Uh, we're going to start off by looking at just regular typing. So if I want to type the letter A uh, just regularly, we would go ahead and type in the ASCII code for A, which is 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and we get an A right there printed to the screen. Uh, so now let's go over how we do modifiers a little bit. Let's say I wanted to copy something and I had it selected, uh, so I wanted to type control C. So left control is just seven zeros, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so now you'll see it didn't press anything on the screen, but left control is held in our modifier buffer. So now if we want to type a C, that's just going to be one, two, one, two, three, one, two and you'll see that both control and C lit up there because control C was pressed. Uh, so this also extends to all of our other keys that we have on here. Uh, let's say I wanted the up arrow, that would be one, two, three, one, 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 two. And you'll see here we had our up arrow pressed. And then for instance, we wanted escape, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. 
and there's our escape key. So as you can see from that, everything including modifiers works. You can even stack as many modifiers as you want and all of that will work perfectly. Uh, so now let's go ahead and move on to the typing test itself. So there you have it, the binary keyboard is both capable of doing absolutely anything a regular keyboard can do, and it can also type at a blazing fast 3 words per minute with full concentration. Uh, if you compare this to a full-size keyboard, which has 52 times as many keys, then that's actually pretty good, because if this was 52 times as efficient as it currently is, then it would weigh in at 156 words per minute, which is faster than my regular typing speed, so I'd definitely say that this is a win in my book. That is going to be it for me for today with regards to the binary keyboard. Uh, that was a pretty fun project and was just one of those things that I thought of, this could probably be done, and then I decided to build it and ended up having a lot of fun doing it, so... Uh, definitely enjoyed that. Be sure to check out the GitHub link down in the description with all of the code and all of everything you need if you want to build one of these yourself, including all of the instructions on how to actually type on it. Uh, so that is down in the description if you want, as well as a link to my friend Mask Rosé, who made the music that you heard during the typing test. He's incredibly talented and just starting out right now, so you guys should definitely check him out as well. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with anyone you think might be interested, and get subscribed to me so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I have a few more ridiculous peripheral ideas coming up, so uh, stay tuned for those, as well as my normal fare of computer science and math videos, and a smattering of other technology-related things that I think are just interesting and I would love to share with you guys. So I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye.